Hi students! In this lesson, we're going to go over a pre-production checklist for your book, uh, how to export your PDF, and then how to upload that PDF to Blurb. So let's go over some pre-production things you need to look for and double check before we create our PDF of our book. The first thing is to make sure under links so if you don't have a links palette here that's under window and you can select links this is all the images in your book and what you want to make sure you do is if I click on one to double check that the color is not RGB but set to uh, CMYK and you can see a couple of my images here are not set to CMYK so you want to open them in Photoshop and actually make sure that you convert them to CMYK, but also make sure that the image size, so here we can see that the New World is a pretty large image, that it is also set at 300 dpi as well. So everything should be CMYK and 300 dpi. The second thing is if you do command semicolon you'll bring up your bleeds palette and also your grid and make sure that each and every one of your images that bleed or color that bleed the endpoint is into the spine and then also you're bleeding to that full edge the next thing is if you have any image or color that bleeds across the entire page what you want to do is make sure that it doesn't do this because again blur prints singular pages and binds them all together in a different order so if we copy this we'll take and pull this over here and I've done this on most of your projects but just to be sure then I'm going to do a paste in place and then if I have the other side I'll do like so. So if you have solids or images that are full bleed across a spread just make sure they're broken along the spine. And lastly make sure all your type is consistent. So we can see in my example I have lowercase in the header but in this one I have uppercase. So just go through, make sure that your titles are all the same size, they're all the same case and weight, and then also go through and look really closely at your paragraphs. So for example, this is 4.1, and this one is also 4.1. So just look at the widths and make sure that they're pretty close, and then also make sure you get the best rag that you possibly can on your design. So the same pre-production checklist that we just went through for our book, we'll also want to make sure that we do for our cover as well. So to export to PDF, there's a couple ways we're going to do it. I'm going to show first if I have the Blurb extension, and then secondly, if you cannot install that extension, how you can make your PDF otherwise. So if you just jump over to Blurb, I'll show you where the extension is. It's kind of buried. So if we go under magazines and we say upload your PDF, yes, it is really buried. <laughs> You'll see if you scroll down, there's an InDesign plug plugin. And you'll click the download. And you'll choose the version of InDesign, and we all have Creative Cloud. And then we have Share. And then you'll download that plugin and install it. And what this does is it makes sure that all your bleeds and everything is set up properly and also your images and your PDF resolution matches with Blurb Book. So if we jump back over to InDesign and we have our template and our cover, what we'll do is go under Adobe PDF presets. Now if you install it and you have InDesign open 
you may have to quit InDesign and reopen it to have the preset show up. I'm not sure, but if it doesn't show up when you install it, just quit InDesign and reopen it and it should work. Now, you probably won't be able to install this um, plugin on the desktop in the lab, but you definitely can on your laptop. So if I do blurb PDF export, what I want you to do is under your BYOB file, do blurb PDF files for upload. And then what I would suggest is just write your name and then pages and then hit save. And all this is preset. Just make sure you have all selected and then hit export. And yeah, sometimes there's text, don't worry about that. It's probably to deal with your page numbers. Just hit OK. And you'll see up here in the corner it's exporting. And then we'll do the same process with our cover. And I would just again put your name and then what it is, hit save. Again, it has all the compression settings and everything you need to make sure it uploads properly. And you hit export and it exports that file. So now you should have in your DNT folder under blurb files, your cover and also your pages. So if we go to upload, the first thing you're gonna to have to do is actually create an account. So I'll log out really quickly. And you can just sign up, it's free. So once you sign up, you'll have create your book. So I'm gonna get started here. It'll ask you the type of book you have. The majority of you are doing magazines. The few of you that have horizontal will be under the photo books and it'll be the 10 by eight book. So I'm just gonna jump on magazine, hit upload your PDF. Oh, sorry, it's kind of confusing where it is. It's just right here. Upload PDF of your book. What you want is cover and pages in separate file. Just makes it easier. So I'm gonna grab my pages. hit open then my cover then hit next and you have options because we've done the magazine you can choose the paper type that you would like matte versus gloss paper and then if you want an ISBN which is a scan code on the back of the book and then also um, your book title you have to name these so you can call them whatever you want they don't actually show up on your cover or any of your printed book it just allows them to name the files that they're printing so upload the blurb And it will double check your files to make sure that they're to the right size and pre flight everything. And right now, everything is uploaded and it works well. And then you can actually preview your book. So, right now, um, outside cover, inside cover, and my pages. So, really, I don't have anything on my outside or inside cover, but you can come through here. In preview you can even see if your bleeds are right and you can do one last proof of the book to make sure that it's perfect 
And once you do that, you can either order the book right now, and you can click order, and then you obviously you'll go through a checkout process. Or if you're not sure at this point in time, you can always come back to my dashboard and then order your book. So your book will be here. It's saved under whatever you titled it, and you can order it at any time. And this is also true is if you order one copy right now and then you decide um, over the holiday break that you want to order 10 more books, you can always come back inside your dashboard here and order more books. And that's really a simple process of ordering a book on Blurb. And usually it takes them about five days to uh, turn it around. And also there's a ton of coupons online. So you can just like Google Blurb coupons and probably get 35% off your book in the checkout process too. If you're having a hard time um, using the plugin or installing the plugin, uh, there's a workaround in how you export the PDF. So again, I highly recommend using uh, the Blurb plugin to make sure that your book is perfect. But if not, here's the workaround. If you go under File, go to Adobe PDF Presets, we can go to High Quality Print, and I'll just put this as like a V2. Under Marks and Bleeds, this is really, really important to make sure that your bleeds work properly. You'll hit Use Document Settings, and this is the 0.125 bleed that we have on the edge of all of our books. And this is really important to not forget this because when you go to upload to Blurb, it will say that your size of your PDF is incorrect and you'll have to re-export it and upload it again. So again, make sure all is selected, select pages, and then last but not least, make sure you use document bleed settings. And then you'll just export. And then it'll be the same process as uploading your PDF to Blurb as we did just a few minutes ago. Our lesson has now come to an end. We covered pre-production for your book also, how to export your PDF and upload it to Blurb. I wish you all the best of luck in printing your books. And please let me know if you have any questions before you print them.